Fork. You know what? I'm going I'm after him. him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so first of all, we are going to go to. We're going to clear out this whole area level first. Oh, where's he going? This whole area first. We know we've got all the gems here. We'll need a lot of lives in this one because near the end game it gets very tricky. Yeah, it's a good boss, yeah. Gems over here, now we're gonna have to speed. Are you gonna get him? There we go, yeah. And. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna do. Dark Hallows first. I just want to clear out all the enemies there, so I know I've already taken everything out of there, gem collection-wise. I think we're very limited in this area to what we can collect, because big enemies we can't flame. So literally, we just got to get past enemies as quick as we can. So these are frog <laughs> trees that frog well, well, nor things that turn to frogs. From frogs, I guess they bounce. Uh, I think we got all oh no, it's right behind him. The issue is that about the flames that we can't really take out the big guys in this run. But we're gonna try our hardest. We've got everything so far over here. Oh yeah, we've got to go and get a dragon over here quickly as well. So I glide this side and get past the big guy. And we've received released Albert. These big guys don't do damage, so it's alright. If I can just sneak past him. Gapetia! Uh, it's about 50 out of 100 gems, so we're not doing this bad this level, but we can't get. Oh, there's one down here. It's not, we can't get all of them because the big guys can't be playing, of course. Oswin. Just squeeze through there. And we got through the gap. We're going to keep moving as fast as we can. Let me get the chest over here. Get a bit of help up, get it back, back to golden. So we need that one to go over here in a second. Let's 
take a few hits down here to get ourselves out of that little um, situation with the, the bigger Nork. Ah, damn it, didn't jump high enough. Okay, we're all good. That's as far as we can go in Dark Hallows with gem collection. And we'll just use a teleporter to get out of here. Because we're right next to it. Yeah, I think a majority of my gems I collect are actually from Beast Keepers, Beast the Maker World. When I did my practice run for this. But we still get a good few gems in this one. We just can't do much in Toasty's World. Because everything requires flame damage, the majority of them. That's that alley over here. We haven't been this part yet. I'm just gonna get the this dragon. Oh dear. I do like that part in here, right? That's the original game. Just, just second you can get close to the dragon head, it opens up. Uh, I think we've got everything here, so now we're just going to um Oh yeah, Stonehill had a blank name for what level was called for a second guy, so yeah, Stonehill. We can get majority of gems here again, it's just the um spinning chests we can't open up because you require flame the flame attack to spinner chests. There are some levels we can break the spinning chests, but we can uh, supercharge is available and we'll be using that ability later on later in the game. So now, let's take out these rams, or goats, I can't tell they are. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, get rid of you. I think there's always a chest over here, I miss. I don't really get it. Yeah, I got it this time. That's fine. Then we can go into this room and get more majority of chests we need. Yeah, all these are breakable. Well, I just see uh, no charging, but it's quite hard to break a lot of chests because a lot of them required um, charging, and we couldn't use the flame attack my previous run I did. This time I got the opposite of this. So there is two bosses we can't do any damage to because you require flame. But there is two bosses you can beat in this game. That is the Magic Crafters Royal Boss and the um, Beast Keeper Boss. Or Beast Maker Royal Boss. So we got, we're getting our dragon count up already pretty high. We need 50 dragons to get the last war in this game. The only challenge is to get the gem count up in this game to a high enough number. Egg Thieves can be challenged in this game, but you just have to persist and charge as quick as you can. And just try and cut them off what you can to try and get them off guard. So now we've got this key to open a chest down here. And let's open this magical chest. So you can do a majority of this level without any trebles, really. What are we on currently? 128. I think we can 100% level, actually. If I can remember right. Hello, Mr. Oh, no, we can't. There is one in a second I think we can break. Got ya. Getting rid of all these um, um, charging enemies and the shepherds. Where are you? Oh, you're on this way too. I got you. Did check them out. Oh, yeah, I got these wizards on this. Oh, uh, shepherds on this, sorry.
Uh, I think we got all of them up here. Yeah, they're all at top now, gems. Out of the last ones in this level. Lydus. And then we just go around this building. We'll get this run done faster, because last time I had to walk most of the last playthrough. But now we can actually charge and run around places at a faster rate. Here's some gems he's pointing out. Oh, over here. Yeah, right. Just using sparks to be able to can remember every location of all the gems in this one point. That's one gem there. Down here. Oh, down, down here. Oh, okay, I missed the one gem down there. That ain't good. I oh, can never find the last three gems in this level. That's why it's such a big map. Over there. Anyway, now we're going to go for the first egg thief of the run. Oh, I'm going to get there in a minute. I'm going to get the XP first. Trying to place, stay as close as I can to the edge. I'm nearly at him then. Almost got him. Got ya. Over here. Up here. Let's have a look. The other side, there it was. Straight across this side of the map. Ah, here it is. Two to three gem. There we are. So the three I always miss. So back to the world. So we can get 100% gems and 100% everything at that level. Next we are going to do the speedway. We can get uh, max 180 gems in the speedway because we can't flame the planes. I think that's one of the main levels in the game you can actually 100%, that's a good thing. Uh, next is Speedway. Okay, first of all, we are going to go for the metal these chests. See if I can angle this right. 
No. Ah, oh, kill me. I did it 100% the first time round when I did a practice run. So you got to land on a platform. So you can charge this, the trains, and you can go through the arches here to get the gems you require. Okay, now we're going to do the arches. And then we're going to take out the trains. What well, a cargo carrier, I'm not sure what to call in this game. There's our next train we're going for. Is there, a train? is there a train over here or is it not going? There is next train we're going for. And that's all we can get without using a flame attack in this game, guys. So we'll just take ourselves out. And that's an extra 180 gems collected. Next, we are going to. We can't really do much in Tosis for us. I, I ignore. I'm ignoring that route, and we're going straight to the area where we got to do go through lots of um, do lots of gliding. Level four. So that's the last dragon of this area. First charge on the fee. I know it's not 100 worth it, but every gem counts in this run. And I think we just gotta go on top now quickly. Town Square, that's what we're going to next. Town Square. So, so far, oh yeah, we've definitely got to glide across all the time to get the last gems in this area. It's 100% homeworld. I think the only thing we can't break in Town Square is the actual um, spinning chests. But everything else is achievable in this level. So let's keep rolling. Okay, all these gems down here collect. Post bags. We're going to be a, a quite a lot this run. Niles. The only issue, only challenging thing in this one is really the egg piece because it moves so fast. And you've got time to charge to grab him, to hit him down here. When we get to this section, he jumps down and you've got to sort of jump down and like try and land with him while charging. Delvin, Devlin. He's my favourite Dragon Act series, so he's the one with the birthday cake. <laughs> No gems missed around here. 
Oh, I'm not going to try any spark finder unless I know I've missed something. Take out the shark, then when I torment the balls. I was still like that one. Oh, I killed that, that um, enemy. I think that's all balls. No, there's one more bullet top to take out. We'll get this dragon. Elvar! Come back in a second to get these gems. Oh, I need missed this. Oh, are you kidding me? Jump the second I jump. Stand on top of him. We are going to get this egg feed. When I get five eggs, I won't be going for any more egg feeds because there's such a challenge about playing for attack in this game. Oh, you kidding me? I can't get like that. Oh, that's a mistake every time. This guy took me like three times last time to get perfect. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Never mind. Is it, is it worth time chasing down? He has to get one actually fight using a flame. <laughs> Deck speeds are much harder than I remember in the original game. That's the annoying thing, they're so much faster. I think I'm going to leave his egg thief because trying to charge him up flame is so tricky. It's such a short area to get through and he gets so far ahead of you. I'm just going to get the gems and get the egg thief in other levels. It is possible but it's just getting the right accuracy to actually get the guy. And there's enough, enough egg thief in this game to uh, get through the game without struggling too much. So I'll be on four egg thieves after Peacemaker. Peacekeeper World. Sorry. So yeah, we're just 10 gems short, really. And we are done with... I'll just go for the four, why not? We are done with um, Austin's World. Now we're going to the Peacekeepers. Yeah, the only we have done anywhere that is toasties. Oh yeah, and Sunny Flight, you can't really do much in. So, yeah, now World 2. Are you ready to Let's go? go to Peacekeepers! 
Google 